What's going on you guys? Brandon here back with another action figure review. In front of us we're taking a look at the brand new figures for the Black Adam movie from Spin Master. Super excited for these. We got uh, Hawkman right here. He looks really cool. I really dig the box art. Unfortunately we learned a lot from the last review that I did. The articulation on these is not that good um, especially in the leg hip area so Definitely be wary of that. <laughs> I'm warning you ahead of time in case you're let down. Uh, Black Adam, I really, really like this box art. In fact, I would probably just keep him in the box. That lightning bolt looks really cool. First edition, of course, there's Dwayne Johnson up in the corner. And it just looks really good, you guys. I wish uh, the figures were as good as the packaging. The packaging looks really cool. I got these guys at Target. They were $8.99 a piece. Um, and I, I guess this was all they had. Um, the street date for these was supposed to be, uh, Sunday, uh, the 20, 20th, I think it was the 20th. Um, anyways, these are the only ones that they had and the guy had to pull them from the back and that was it. There was nothing else. I'm not sure if there are 12 inch figures. If there are, I would be very curious to get my hands on those. So let me know if you have found something like that in your area. All right, we're gonna get these out of the packaging and take a closer look, stay tuned. All right, you guys, we got our figures out of the packaging. First, taking a look at Hawkman. I actually really like his sculpt and I really like the paint details, especially that metallic gold color. Looks pretty cool. These are the accessories that he comes with, just wings um, and then an ax and a mace. Um, up close, the figure does look pretty good. Um, I think it is accurate to everything that we've seen thus far in the trailers. Um, I'm particularly not a big fan of the red pants. Kind of reminds me of the 90s Hawkman. But uh, I am very excited that at least we get an on-screen Hawkman finally for the first time on the big screen. So he's got articulation in his head side to side. His arm comes out only about that far hindered here with the shoulder pad. This one comes out a little bit further. Well, no, not really. This one's got a shoulder pad too, but this one can at least do a full 360. There's a bend twist at the elbow, no waist articulation, no ab crunch, no nothing like that. And then the legs, as far as I know, they, yep. Yeah. Same thing as the two pack or the, the Hawkman Cruiser. So the legs come out about that far. They don't go forward, but there is um, a swivel here. So you can move that and then bring the leg up just just a little bit like that. I, don't, I still don't understand why we got that. There's a bend and a twist at the knee and that's about it. So there's Hawkman. Uh, his wings just poured in on the backside and it's, it's fairly simple. There's one. And uh, here's the other. There's two. Cool. And the wings do help him stand up, which I can definitely appreciate. The wings do touch the ground. And uh, he comes with this mace, which I really like. They got some very nice marbleization going on there. So it looks pretty cool. And he can hold that. And uh, I think the best thing about this is you can interchange these accessories. So if you get any other Hawkmans or Hawk Girls on the shelf and uh, they need some spare accessories, you can definitely add those as well. And uh, here's the axe. The axe. All right. There we go. From the bottom. All right. So there's the axe. Just a solid gold color. It does look pretty good, though. I got to say, I really do like that a lot. So all in all, Hawkman, $8.99. Not a bad figure uh, by himself. When you pay 35 bucks and expect to get a ship with him, uh, it's a whole different story. So there was, there's our, uh, our single figure, Hawkman. Pretty cool figure. Next, taking a look at Black Adam. So Hawkman was the exact same figure that we got from the Hawkman Cruiser set. Um, I expect the exact same out of Black Adam, but we're gonna find out if there are any differences like that. Um, here's the bottom of the feet. I really wish we got peg holes. Um, that would be really good. Some of these, uh, Spin Master toys really got trouble standing up. Nice soft goods cloth cape. And there is the backside for Black Adam. Um, if they are exactly the same, I'm probably going to snip the cape off one of these. And, uh, just, uh, it really enjoy the pre-new 52 look uh, in all its glory without that cape. 
So movement in the head side to side. He cannot look up or down at all, just side to side. Arm comes out, forward, back, full 360. There's a, well, this elbow's kind of locked, but there's a bend and a twist at the elbow. No wrist articulation, no ab crunch, no waist articulation. Uh, and his leg does come out pretty good and it doesn't come forward. You got a twist right here at the hip and then bring his leg forward. But it does come forward pretty good, all things considered. Um, and then we do have a bend and a twist at the knee. And that's about it for Black Adam. He does come with some lightning accessories. Um, it's nothing crazy. It's the same piece of lightning for both hands. And they just pour it right into his hands, just like that. And there we go. Kind of looks like Wolverine claws. It is a nice translucent yellow, so I can definitely appreciate that. And all in all, not too bad for nine bucks. There's our basic figure movie, Black Adam. Pretty sweet. And next, taking a look at Adam Smasher. Super excited to finally have this guy. Really, really cool. Um, he looks, to me, very comic book accurate. Um, I really do like the color scheme that they picked. I know in some iterations he does have no sleeves, but uh, this looks really cool too. I actually really, really like the look of this guy a lot. Um, there's you no know, peg holes going on there at the bottom of the feet. And um, you can see his fingertips here, so that's also cool. And all in all, he just looks really cool. I think if anything, he's got to be like the smallest out of these three figures, which is really funny because, you know, he's he's supposed to grow into a really tall guy. So hopefully we'll get a 12 inch Atom Smasher um, from the regular Spin Master sets that we usually get. And then you can have your 12 inch Atom Smasher fight your six inch Black Atom or four inch Black Atom. So that would work really, really nicely. Uh, for his articulation, he's got movement in his head, side to side. Kind of tight, does work though. Uh, his arm comes out all the way, forward and back, full 360. Bend, twist at the elbow. No wrist articulation, no ab crunch, no waist articulation. His leg comes out really far, that is impressive. And uh, wow, okay, that's cool. So it looks like with Atom Smasher, I really don't have to do anything other than just put my finger by the ankle and his leg comes up. It does have the same twist though, unfortunately. There's a bend and a twist at the knee. That's about it. Uh, he comes with these gloves. I'm really uh, kind of curious and a little concerned. They look like the Nightwing gloves that we got. They're just not holding Eskrima sticks. So I really, I really don't understand. I guess we'll find out in the film. Maybe his gauntlets give him a special power or ability, but these are supposed to just go into his hand like that. Oh man, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna display him with these, but uh, there you go. If you need an accessory for your Atom Smasher, there are his, his gauntlets or gloves powered up. Oh my goodness. He is troublesome to stand too. Anyways, there's Adam Smasher. All right, so first for a size comparison with some of their previous counterparts, we've got Black Adam and Hawkman from the Hawk Cruiser set, and I got Nightwing here with his blue gloves. So the Hawkman holding the accessories, that's the new one, the single carded. You can tell they're almost exactly the same. I think the legs are a little bit warped on my, uh, my Hawk Cruiser Hawkman. Maybe that's why they look a little bit different. Um, the Black Adams are exactly the same. The one holding the lightning bolt is the single card release. Um, my single card release has something different going on with his neck. Uh, and then there is the Nightwing gloves compared to the Adam Smasher gloves. They are a different sculpt. They just are very reminiscent for me of, uh, of exactly what Nightwing has going on. All in all, not too bad. And for another size comparison, here's our new Black Adam movie figures with some previous Spin Master figures. We've got three different sizes at this point. You can see what I mean. There's the Batman movie figures with our new Hawkman and with our comic book figures. And uh, man, the new Black Adam movie figures are definitely the smallest. Um, Black Adam isn't that much shorter than Shazam and Superman, but it is still noticeable and it's very, very unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's what we're looking at. These are the different sizes of figures from Spin Master. 
And for one more size comparison, here's our new Black Adam movie figures with some other previous figures. I think the most important thing to know here is that line that I was telling you guys about in the last video, the DC Infinite Heroes or Infinite Crisis from Mattel. Those guys are definitely in scale with these Black Adam movie figures. So like the uh, Thanagarian Troopers that came with Hawkman or anything from that line, Hawk Girl, those would, I don't know if they made a Hawk Girl, but if they did, it would definitely fit in with that scale. And here's just some other figures. Got an old DC Direct uh, Black Adam, a new DC Direct Black Adam. There's a Marvel Legends Moon Knight. Um, there's an old Batman animated figure and the McFarlane Black Adam. So just so you can see how these guys scale overall with some of the other figures that might be in your collection. All in all, not too bad. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we have Hawkman, Black Adam, and Adam Smasher from the new upcoming Black Adam movie by Spin Master. Found these for $8.99 at Target. Super excited for this movie, you guys. The action figures aren't that bad. The legs definitely are bothersome, so I wish that was better. It is cool that we get some accessories. Adam Smashers are kind of weird, though. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I wanted to see, you know, where else maybe we could use these accessories, whether Spin Master toys. I know you can definitely put the lightning on Shazam, so that's pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, maybe where else we can use Hawkman's accessories or Atom Smashers. I'd love to hear from you. You guys, thank you so much for all the likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions. My channel continues to grow and climb each and every day, and it's because of each and every one of you. So thank you so much for watching. As I find more cool and awesome stuff, and I gotta find that Dr. Fate and that Cyclone, so I'll bring them to you right here on my channel. Keep it tuned right here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.